Software is very excited to exhibit at the ISSA and BSCAI trade show October 26th through the 29th in Chicago. At the show, we will unveil a brand new executive dashboard. The dashboard displays easy to read graphical representations of key performance indicators, such as your most profitable jobs or outstanding receivables. You can drill down on those graphs to get detailed information about your customers and accounts. The information is available to you wherever you are, whether at your desk or on a mobile device. This is an exciting new tool designed to keep you connected to the things that impact your business the most. Please visit us at booth 4413 for a personal demonstration and for a chance to win an iPad. We will give away an iPad each day of the trade show. We look forward to seeing you there. In the meantime, visit us at teensoftware.com. Hi, this is Dick. Just want to remind you that we have started our Selling Contract Cleaning Services webinar series. But you can still register for the remaining sessions by going to our website, consultantsandcleaning.com. Your time will be well spent. We look forward to having you. Now, on to this week's Cleancast. Welcome to our Cleancast today. Thanks for joining us. Today's clean cast is entitled, Becoming a Better Manager. And you're probably saying, there he goes again. I hear all these management ideas. But I came across an article recently by Victor Lippmann that I thought was uh, really an interesting uh, take on it. It says, six fundamentals that can make you a better manager in the next year. And so I just thought I'd go over those six with you. Number one, it says, be open to new ways of looking at things. Uh, You've probably heard the old phrase, we've we've always done it that way. We've always done it that way. And I can give you countless stories, and some are jokes, and some are real live stories about people who, you know, why are you doing it that way? Because we've always done it that way. Probably, you know, one of my best stories is about a, man was actually in my peer group for years, way back when, and uh, he used he used an old product called Panaloon that you use as paste wax that you used with uh, steel wool pads. And we told him that that was a little bit out of date today, and he said, look, we used it in the 40s and the 50s, and we're going to keep using it. If it's good enough then, it's good enough now. Well, you know, uh, the best managers are really really closely attuned to their to their environment aren't they what's going on you know you have to you have to be a good listener you have to look at what the processes are that's why that's why it's so important that you attend the annual uh, ISSA convention every year uh, which is going to be going on here later uh, actually later this week in uh, in Chicago but if you're rigid in the way you do things you're probably not going to get too far and your people who don't, people that see that you're not flexible, they're going to be flexible and leave. The second item that he talked about is expect excellence. Set high standards, not unattainable standards, but set high standards. You know, the best managers are ultimately not those who are the toughest or the nicest, but those who get the best results from the people in their organization by sitting down and making by making uh, goals and, and standards that they all want to live by and then helping them, helping them attain those goals. Number three was make sure your employees know clearly where they need to focus. In other words, make sure that when you not only set with them on what, what you're trying to accomplish, here are the key points that you need to focus on in order to get the results that we're looking at. Point them out to them. Be sure they understand them and that they carry them out that way and that they clearly reflect what you want. Um, Well-conceived, measurable employee objectives, he says, are a manager's best friend. They move job performance from the realm of the subjective and to no surprise, the objective. 
So that's number three. Number four, <coughs> excuse me, protect your time as if it was gold. And that is one of the, if I've ever heard anything said properly, that's the way to say it. Uh, this is a, time is an underrated but a crucial management asset. We only have so many hours every day. We're all, get, we're all blessed and given the same amount of time, aren't we? Uh, managers are routine pulley, routinely pulled in too many directions. And uh, you, some managers feel like that's what they need to do to show that they're a manager. And one of my, you know, I, I've said, you've heard me say this before, my, my standard answer when somebody brought something to my desk was, how do you think we should handle this? And I'd let, try to let them handle it. But most managers, when they walk in, I've got this problem, boss. Oh, let me have it. Here, I'll take care of it. Because that's what they think the manager's for. The manager also has a responsibility of helping them learn to do it themselves helping them to learn from making the mistakes, learn, learn from the mistakes they made, rather. That's what's important. Protect your time as if it were gold. I used to schedule even, you know, I, I could get so involved, I would even, if my wife wanted to, you know, go to a matinee, to a movie, I would schedule one to three on Thursday afternoon out of the office, and I would be taking my wife to a matinee because I just, if I didn't schedule it, we never went to the movies. We never went. So I had to put it on the schedule. And uh, that's probably, some of you out there saying, yeah, what do you mean you got to schedule time with your wife? A lot of us do as we're building this business. You know, one of the things you do is, uh, unfortunate, but many times you neglect your spouses, you neglect your children's activities, and you have to learn to protect that time with them. Now, number five, communicate regularly. We're providing meaningful feedback in real time. Communicate regularly and communicate in a way that isn't a bunch of texting and it's LOL and all that. Strong managers invariably are excellent communicators. So are you a good communicator? Providing feedback, both positive and negative, is a core skill? Or do you yell at them when they do it wrong? You gotta be there, you gotta be present, you gotta be accessible. But even if you're managing remotely, you still have to be easily accessible. You know, I, uh, one of the things, uh, we kept our office in Wichita, Kansas, but I, I lived in the Scottsdale, Arizona and uh, uh, for 17, 18 years. But every Monday morning was phone calls with all of my managers. Actually all day Monday, depending on where, the, you know, where they were. But uh, I could start be, being in Arizona and my office in Kansas, I could start my phone calls at six o'clock in the morning because in Kansas it was eight o'clock. And I could do 8 to 8.30, 8.30 to 9, 9 to 9, you know, go on down the list. We had a half hour, we had an agenda, and uh, I could, we were able to point out uh, areas that needed addressed. Um, and we, we were able to address issues that uh, were going very well, things that were going well. We tried our best to cover both sides of that coin. And then the uh, last one that he talks about is don't duck conflict, but deal with it directly and fairly. And uh, that's one of the things we talk about in our, in our webinar and our, our sessions on uh, dealing, you know, handling discipline too, is that, you know, you don't wait to, or hand it off to somebody else or you don't wait till it blow, you blow up and then it's too late. You handle it now and you deal with it fairly and you deal with it consistently. You do it now. And, and truthfully, most of us have that problem. I, I'm, I'm guilty. One of the problems I had was letting people get too far, get off, off base too far before I had to rein them in. And I should have just kept hammering, you know, in a positive way at the time it was occurring, not when it got over here. But, uh, you know, I can't undo that. That's the way I did it. I tried to get better at it. And I, I think I did get better at it, but I just never was uh, expert at it like some of you are. So those were the six, six uh, 
uh, uh, concepts and fundamentals that he talks about. Be open to new ways of looking at things. Expect excellence. Make sure your employees know what is expected from them. Protect your time as it were gold. Communicate regularly by providing meaningful feedback in real time. And number six, don't duck conflict. Deal with it directly and fairly. Becoming a better manager in 2017. Try it. You might like it. It might work. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time.